we're halfway through summer. As we measure it, that's the months of June, July and August combined. You probably know or at least could have guessed that it's been hotter, sunnier and drier than average. But just how hot and sunny? Let's take a look at the statistics because they really are quite remarkable. Dealing with rainfall, first of all, so far through the first month and a half of summer, taking the UK as an average, we've had 47 millimetres of rain. How does that compare? Well, take a look at 1995, which is the driest summer on record. And over the whole three months, well, then we recorded 103 millimetres. So if weather patterns remain similar, well, we could be challenging some records in terms of how dry this summer is. But that's quite a big if and things can change. This graph shows the um, top 10 driest first half of summers since 1961, showing quite clearly that this year is the driest in that record. But interestingly, 2013 is the next driest. But although it was dry at this stage, it then turned very wet at the end of July and early August. And so overall, 2013 isn't even in the top 10 driest. So things can change and they may well change. Let's take a look at temperatures now. Well, again, it's been quite remarkable if we take 2018 so far. The average maximum temperature, 20.9 degrees Celsius. Compare that with the famous summer of 1976, where the average across the three months for the maximum was just 0.1 degree higher. So again, if weather patterns remain similar, well, we could be pushing records as we could be for sunshine amounts. Again, 76, that famous summer, was the sunniest on record, 669 hours across the three months. So far, we're only halfway through, but we have recorded, well, well over 300 hours worth. Now, sunshine's a little bit different because through the second half of summer, the days are getting shorter, so there aren't as many sunshine hours available. And of course, weather patterns could change, but, Let's project forward now if the second half of summer was average, what would we be looking at? And it just goes to show how remarkable the summer has been because even if the rest of the summer is around average, we would still finish with one of the top 10 driest summers on record, one of the top five sunniest on record, and in the end we'd be about a degree below that all-time hot summer of 1976. Now the sunshine is quite interesting because currently the fourth highest in that record is 1975. And that's quite important when we think about 1976, the images of the drought and the standpipes in the street. But that summer followed a sunny previous summer and a dry winter. So this summer, although drier so far, doesn't really compare. And things have changed quite dramatically. Having said that, we should always be looking to conserve water. And with temperatures set to rise this weekend, there's no sign of this remarkable summer coming to an end.